Hello guys, good day to all, this is Mike Padawan, we're back to give you the very latest for this uh, Sunday through Tuesday, June 8 to 10, 2025, this is our weather analysis, English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamagani Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordado. And let's begin with our update. It looks like the LPA okay has started to cross luzon and the uh, computer models particularly the american the european model are now blending with its output and it's likely to form over the west philippine sea no longer over the eastern coastal areas of uh, or eastern coastal waters of luzon as it moves towards uh, taiwan and okinawa it's no longer that way and it's now moving towards southern china uh, beginning uh, uh, Tuesday, okay, and that's the biggest uh, change and uh, the effect of the uh, Habagat or the Southwest Monsoon will only be concentrated over the western sections of Mimaropa and the western sections of Southern and Central Luzon. Over Bicol, the rainfall has dramatically improved from 150 to 100 or more than 100 millimeters during our last uh, update. It's now gone, gone down to less than 30 millimeters. That's a 24-hour rainfall on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, okay? Uh, roughly around that uh, uh, range, okay? So that's uh, good news for those uh, living in Bicol region and uh, uh, parts of uh, southern Tagalog provinces, but over the western sections of southern Luzon, western sections of Calabarzon and uh, Europa expects still some 50 to 100 millimeters of rainfall will be expected. So here's the uh, la latest graph set we created uh, this morning. So we are now on a 24-hour basis of the graphical satellite analysis since we have a weather system. 92 W. This is, was the, this was the 2 p.m. position. 100 kilometers is southeast of Baler. 15.5, 122.5, 2 p.m. And right now it has begun traversing quickly the central portion of Luzon without any cloudiness in, in the uh, center of this LPA but most of the cloudiness are now organizing in advance to the west or the leeward side of Luzon over the West Philippine Sea. So within the next 24 to 48 hours it will rapidly intensify into a depression or even a tropical storm fire in leaving the Philippine air responsibility. Okay. So expect monsoon rains to occur over the western sections of Europa and the western sections of central and southern Luzon, including uh, Metro Manila, will experience some um, uh, occasional monsoon rains that will begin uh, tomorrow, Monday, until Wednesday. So let's hope that it will accelerate so that the effects of the monsoon will lessen. Okay, but... Uh, just take all necessary precautions, especially those living along the low-lying areas and the landslide phone areas of the affected areas, okay? Or the affected regions of western, southern, and central Luzon. And those uh, facing the West Philippine Sea. So right now, we have still the light uh, southwesterly wind flow or southwesterly uh, monsoon over... Uh, Palawan and the western sections of uh, Visayas over Bicol. We are still within the uh, circulation of 92W, but we are experiencing some good weather right now with isolated thunderstorms over Albay. And uh, uh, early this morning, we uh, measured uh, 75 millimeters to 100 plus millimeters of rainfall over a small area of Kamarini Sur, especially here in Naga and also some areas in the Bicol region because of a uh, extreme or severe thunderstorm that passed uh, early this morning. But so far for the rest of today, Sunday, there is no uh, heavy rainfall that occurred. We experienced some sunshine because of the weak uh, organization of this LPA. 
So if we take a look at the uh, fast animation from cyclonicwx.com, Himawa 9, and this is the latest until uh, 6 o'clock uh, this evening, you can clearly see here the uh, monsoon fluff, uh, okay, connected here over the uh, East Philippine Sea and the LPA 93W over the Philippine Sea has dissipated and the LPA right now is currently here over Central Luzon and it's likely to exit the West Philippine Sea early tomorrow morning and will uh, emerge over the West Philippine Sea and reorganize and you can see now the effects of the uh, Southwest Monsoon here over uh, Palawan and uh, the western sections of Mindoro Occidental Mindoro also the western sections of Panay so that's the uh, effects of the uh, southwest monsoon wherein it generates localized thunderstorms over these areas. And uh, here's the zoom in satellite animation from windy.com. There are also some thunderstorms forming here over parts of uh, Mindanao and also Visayas because of the uh, southwesterly monsoonal flow. And uh, likely uh, while over the uh, northern and central portions of the sun, this is the monsoon trough within the circulation of LPA 92W and we could see here the mid and upper level cloudiness of the LPA which is currently elongated with the low level circulation center here and it's likely to, uh, al to, to, to align over the West Philippine Sea within the next 24 to 48 hours and likely to become a uh, tropical storm or tropical depression as it moves out of the Philippine area of responsibility and uh, so far, that's the uh, latest from the uh, zoom in satellite animation. Now, here's the American model. As you can see here, the uh, system is starting to emerge over the western coastal waters of uh, Luzon. And uh, by tomorrow, we are looking at the American model right now. It will start to organize over the West Philippine Sea. And Tuesday, it will become a tropical storm and the southwest monsoon is affecting these areas of uh, uh, western Mimoropa and then it will exit the Philippine air responsibility as a uh, severe tropical storm moving towards Macau and uh, Thursday Independence Day it could become a typhoon Friday it will accelerate towards Macau Hong Kong area and Saturday, early morning Saturday, it will make landfall in the vicinity of Macau, Hong Kong. Okay, so that's the forecast of the American model. Now, let's take a look at the uh, European model. This is the European model. Uh, by tomorrow afternoon, the LPA is going to emerge over the West Philippine Sea, slightly weaker than the American model. And uh, it's likely to become a depression on Tuesday. Wednesday, it could become a tropical storm, moving out to power. Uh, the forecast of the European model is uh, blended with the American model. And Thursday, it will accelerate towards Hainan. But on Friday, it will start to move northward, making landfall to the west of uh, Macau um, early morning of Saturday. Okay, so to give you the... Uh, a blended uh, track of these two. If we uh, take a look on the uh, American model, the track is somewhere like this. Okay. And the uh, European model is going uh, this way, making landfall here. So they are now blended with a few kilometers or a few hundred kilometers apart. But uh, the most important thing here is the two to three day forecast which shows here that they are now close enough that the probability of becoming a cyclone here is certain okay with high probability so that's the uh, latest on the uh, uh, forecast when it comes to the direction of this uh, LPA 92W and the southwest monsoon as you can see here if we take a look on the uh, European model it says that it will still affect the western sections of Visayas, Mimoropa, and uh, western sections of uh, Central and Southern Luzon. Sambales, okay, uh, southern portions of Ilocos region, 
Now let's take a look at the 24 hour rainfall accommodation from windy.com. This is the European model which has high end probability. So tomorrow Monday we expect uh, 50 to 100 millimeters of rainfall to occur over the western sections of Panay, Occidental Mindoro and also over the western coastal areas of Palawan and uh, particularly Calamian Group. While the rest will have uh, normal rainfall because of the uh, southwest monsoon. And then on Tuesday, uh, June 10, the uh, rainfall will uh, move more to the north and will affect the uh, western sections of uh, Bataan, including uh, Cavite, parts of uh, western Metro Manila, and also Batangas and Lubang Island, wherein the rainfall of uh, 50 to 80 millimeters are expected, while over the occidental Mindoro area it could shoot up to more than 100 millimeters, while uh, over western Panay and the western coastal waters of Negros, including Guimaras, will also experience uh, the same situation, around 50 or more millimeters of rainfall, and also over the western coastal areas of Palawan. While over the Bicol region, it will only uh, bring some roughly uh, 50 or more millimeters of rainfall over the coastal waters of Pasacao, but the rest of the Bicol region will have rainfall of about uh, less than 20 millimeters for uh, Tuesday. Okay, so there's the rainfall, as you can see here, 50 millimeters, while here over occidental uh, Mindoro, it will reach uh, a high of... Uh, uh, 100 millimeters and over here so it's roughly around uh, 50 to 100 millimeters over these areas on Tuesday June 10 and uh, on Wednesday the uh, rainfall will still be the same same uh, rainfall amounts will be expected on Wednesday June 11 across the western sections of uh, Sambales Bataan and uh, over the areas of uh, Occidental Mindoro and Western Padai, including Guimaras, and the western sections of uh, Palawan. Metro Manila will have only around uh, 20 to uh, 50 millimeters of rainfall, and also over the western coastal areas of Camarinisur, Albay, and uh, southern Quezon. Okay? And the rest of the country will have a normal rainfall accumulation of 10 to 20 millimeters or less. Okay, and then on Independence Day, as the system moves towards uh, southern China, the uh, southwest monsoon will just be limited over the uh, occidental Mindoro area, 50 to 100 millimeters, and over the western sections of uh, Sambales, Bataan, parts of Bulacan, where in rainfall of 30 to uh, more than 50 millimeters will be expected, while improving conditions will can be seen over Palawan and uh, western Visayas. And uh, on Friday the 13th, improving weather conditions will be expected over the western sections of Luzon. So there you go, uh, that's the uh, rain forecast, rainfall accumulation forecast from windy.com on the track of uh, uh, LPA 92W and the effects on the uh, southwest monsoon. Now before we leave you, here's the latest uh, wave forecast for the next uh, five days. So tomorrow, Monday, we expect uh, increasing wave heights here of more than uh, 2 millimeters over the uh, western coastal waters of Palawan uh, light to moderate to slightly rough because of the uh, southwest monsoon while over the central waters of the Philippines will be 1 to 1.5 meters over the East Philippine Sea about a meter in wave heights light to moderate and uh, suitable for fishing and sea travel except for the western areas of the uh, Philippine Sea okay the West Philippine Sea and on Tuesday, we expect uh, increasing wave heights over the uh, West Philippine Sea, particularly Wednesday and uh, Thursday because of the development 
of uh, LPA 92W, which could become a tropical depression, a tropical storm. So we expect wave heights of more than 3 meters here over the West Philippine Sea from the west of Ilocos region down to the west of uh, Palawan, including Kalayan Island Group, will have moderate to rough seas and dangerous to small and medium sized fishing vessels. And uh, over the uh, central waters of the Philippines, particularly Sulu Archipelago, Sulu Sea, wave heights of up to 2 meters, while in some areas of the Visayan Sea, it will be uh, light waves, okay, from the southwest. And uh, over the East Philippine Sea, it will be roughly around uh, 1 to 2 meters, light to moderate in wave heights. So, uh, it will be choppy, especially for the small fishing vessels, so avoid uh, going out until Independence Day. But if we take a look on Friday, the 13th, improving wave heights will be expected over the rest of the Philippine waters except those facing the West Philippine Sea, especially if you're over Luzon. Okay, over Ilocos region, the wave heights here is still uh, more than 3 meters, particularly during Friday and Saturday. So there you go. That's the latest for this uh, Sunday to Tuesday. And we will return either tomorrow if it develops into a tropical cyclone. If not, on Tuesday for another uh, weather TV update here in our country. Again, this is Mike Padua saying uh, have a great week ahead. Stay safe always. And thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.